tea. Bubble, bubble, bubble tea. Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like lost. I, like I went through a period where I was having it like weekly and oh, I was very happy and I've never been happy since so great to be back. I've had bubble tea once right. but I'm mostly unfamiliar with it so is it that the bubbles can be different flavours, the tea is different flavours, is it a bit of both? I think it's a bit of both. Okay, great. I think. You look like a bubble tea gal. Oh, I'm, I'm a bubble tea gal. Yes, I get matcha flavour. Okay, okay. Love that thing that tastes just a tiny bit like fish. I have a thing about <laughs> things tasting a little bit like fish, what can I say? Except fish. Except for fish. <laughs> I could guess what this is. It's bubble tea. <laughs> oh my god, it's bubble tea! Ah! You're so right! Come on. Oh my god, look at it, it's beautiful. Guinness. Oh. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like somebody really messed up a pint of Guinness. I'm gonna guess this is brown sugar flavoured bubble tea. Is that a flavour? It's a massive portion. Isn't it's it? a very big. Do you, yeah. Are you meant to drink this all in one? What, is that a classic milk tea I see before me? This does look like a classic. Brown sugar milk bubble tea. There we Holy go. Holy crap, damn. Mm -hmm. like, somebody, honestly, give her a gold star. I bubble tea. What can I say? A bubble tea. Ooh, Ooh, brown oh, brown sugar. You gotta mix it up. Okay. Is, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And you're gonna be kicking. No, no, you just go straight just through Just go it. straight through it. Yeah. Good for that. <laughs> <laughs> I had one job and now I look like a sap. Drive the steak into its heart. Die! Eat your knees. Hey! Is this your first time having bubble tea? Apparently yeah. so. That's what I'm meant to do. <laughs> I am ready for we this. We go for it. Let, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh wow, that is delicious. I got a single boba, but oh my god, it's so good. I got two bobas. Oh, that's quite tea. -y, it is very tea. It's very tea. -y. Very tea. I'm so proud. It's so bizarre chewing your tea. Mm -hmm. What I like about the kind of more see through straws is you can see the like, doo -doo 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 -doo, as the very uh, Pac Man y mm -hmm. going up into your mouth. I prefer when they're not that chewy. Right, when they just slip yeah. right down the gullet. I just want to be able to like chew it like two, three times and it, that's it, I can swallow it then. Like, your weak jaws. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't hack it. Me having tea cold yeah. has a real kind of cognitive dissonance for me because like, no, this should be hot. So I, I can't have, or I don't have iced tea. Yeah. Because it just, it doesn't feel right. Brown sugar with tapioca balls almost gives it a molasses flavor. Mm. Molasses-esque. Somebody with a bit of a lisp, that's impossible. <laughs> well done, well done. I feel like a cow when I'm just like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With the cold, I'm like... You need a spittoon. I need a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just carry one with you everywhere you go. Do you think there's some bubble tea places in the world where they have spittoons? <laughs> that's what we're at, that's... What the... What is that? <laughs> that that's unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a toot. Is that a, is that a kidney stone? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the little balls. Paler shade of tea. We got more. Um, oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm out of my depth. I don't know what this is. <gasps> oh, so it's something new for you as well. This is a mango sago bubble tea. A mango, Ooh, sago. mango sago. I know what the bubbles are a lot smaller. Mm. Not to like gross anybody out, but like the imagery of boba tea, it could look like it's oh. like eggs or something like that. It kind of looks like a chia, like a chia pudding. Almost. So then the like trick to this is, right, you get yeah, it, you just, you just, just like it. that, yeah. You just get yeah, just go right in there. Cool, nice. I was just loosening it up. Nice. Thank you. It is very thick. There's something so kind of tadpole-y about it. Yeah. Frog spawn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think they're just stuffed in. They're really ah! Don't shout at them. You'll scare them. Right. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. What on earth is that? It is, it is like a delicious frog spawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the best frog spawn I've had all day. Whoa! I don't like the smaller ones. It felt a bit like I was being attacked by an army there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, they just kept coming. It's not tasting as much like mango. Like there's a flavor there, but it tastes like a different fruit other than mango. Yeah. There was a moment when I was drinking it that I was like, oh, what's this? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> the tiny balls are very disconcerting. The last ones were big. And in case you didn't quite understand, these ones are small. I don't like the balls being smaller. Sorry, let me take that again. I'm not a big fan of the tapioca balls being less big than the, I'm not a, they're- In the bubble tea. In the bubble tea. Yeah. I mean, the texture feels so wrong, but it tastes so good. Yeah, it, it's a really good taste. In yeah. If you hadn't told me it was mango, I don't know if I'd say that's mango. Mm, true. I think this could be the one that I'm gonna bring home. It, it's, yeah. This is a step up in terms of like experience, but 
I still have a soft spot for the brown sugar. I don't think I'd go for this over the first one. This yeah. one's just a little too many bells and whistles for me. I don't want to call it weird, but if someone had this for the first time, they'll say, that's a bit weird. And as we all know, everything weird is wrong <laughs> and should be destroyed. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is a matcha one. Either that or it's mint. I love the way you know all these bubble teas instantly. What can I say? I'm just a bubble tea gal. A bubble tea gal in a bubble tea world. It could be matcha or it could be... Pistachio. Melon or melon. Is it green? Yeah, I'd say it's green. <laughs> so cool. Are, are you seeing that as brown or red? No, it's it's grey. Like, Gr right. Just grey. Matcha green milk tea. <clears throat> matcha. Yes. Yeah. Matcha bubble tea. But matcha was a huge thing a couple yeah. of years ago. Everyone yeah. was like, oh my God, it's so much better than coffee. And like, it doesn't give you the crash or something like that. And then everyone quickly moved back to coffee. Does it not give you the crash? Yeah, there we go. Hacha! Oh. Seriously? That was a bit too much. Ha! Right, let's have a taste of this. I'm curious to see what it's like. Mm. I see what you mean about the fish. <laughs> yeah! Mm. I'm not big on that one. It's a bit fishy or something, isn't it? There's, yeah, there's something off about it. Ah, love it. Super subtle. Is it acquired taste? Like I said, you just have to you just have to drink it enough times so you acquire the taste for it. And there was a smell that hit me just before I had it. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like this. That tastes like seaweed to me. Pleasant matcha. Oh, and the aftertaste. So everything that she's highlighting as a positive, I'm taking as a negative. And there's just a hint of, do you know the smell of grass clippings in the air? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't, oh, <laughs> all I'm getting is fish juice. It tastes like gone off normal tea. This does. Yeah. Is there a residue that's leaving in your mouth? It feels a bit, yeah. yeah a bit slimy or something. No, I feel like I'm just having like grass tea. Lots of people love it. Good for them. I'm not one of those people. Oh no, no. It's like anchovy water or something. In a good way or a bad way? In a bad way, Colin. No, that's absolutely disgusting actually. I'll yeah, try, I'll try and get them. There I said. I'll get a ball. Keep going. Mm. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh. I was just getting rid of the liquid. That was vile. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was the worst thing I've seen all day. Your thoughts on the matcha green milk tea? Good. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolat? Or just brown? Chocolate. Yeah, this one looks chocolatey. Chocolate's too obvious though. It couldn't be chocolate. Maybe it's going to be another kind of Asian flavour, like red bean or mm. something. Choco milk bubble tea. Okay. This, this is what we want. This is what I was expecting from the from the get go. Hot oh, choco milk. I do ah. like a bit of choco chalky milk. I do. Yeah. All is right with the world. <laughs> That's good. That's good. We're ending on a good note now. Chocolate and milk famously go well together. They do. Yeah. I'd love to be the first person who discovered that. I was like, what if I do these two together? Yeah. <gasps> oh fuck. Guys, come here, quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, right. Okay. Let's One drink some bubble tea. One last stab. Dude. This was to the bubble tea haters. <clears throat> What are you doing? Ah, this shouldn't be this difficult. Ah, there we go. Hey. I had a, I had a good pop that time, though. It did have a great pop that time. I, I, I want to drink this. Mmm. It's very strong chocolate. Yeah, that's nice and cocoa-y. That's just delicious. That's beautiful. It's just chocolate milk. That's the one. Yeah. That's not the best chocolate flavor. You can very much taste, like, the cocoa powder. Yeah. It's very powdery. Yeah, that's not like, not like an artificial chocolate. That's, like, actually got, like... Proper chocolate. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, you've got it. You've got it. <laughs> and I'm raging because I want to bring this home now and I'm after wrecking the top of it. Oh no, oh you did, you mm. fucking don't ruin it. Can't taste any tea. Actually, I can't remember the last one that we actually tasted tea. <laughs> did any of them ever taste like tea? The black tea, the brown the sugar tea. One. Yeah, yeah kind of. That's the most tea-like of all the teas. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised we haven't had more fruit. Uh, yeah. Well, we've just mainly had tapioca and then the weird small ones, which are still confusing my brain. Supplementals. Yeah. Uh, supplemental. You can't things. call them toppings because they don't go on top. They go at the bottom. They're bottoms. Yeah. They're bottoms. Yeah. They're, they're bottoms. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I haven't even got one of the balls yet. Yeah, I kind of forgot that this is bubble tea rather than just chocolate milkshake with bits in it. Like, oh, I just don't want to be chewing. The jaws are getting <laughs> tired. I do, uh, Why are we here? Why do I have uh, to chew? <laughs> great milk. Get rid of tapioca. Yeah. Leave out, um, leave out the bottoms. Bottomless chocolate milk is what they need here. This one. Tops only. The bubbles are great and they're huge. Yeah. Like, we love huge balls. That's the yeah, we do. take away from this video. I started off this video as a bit of a novice and I like to think of myself as a little bit of a connoisseur now. Mm. I've learned a lot from yeah, you, oh bubble tea you. queen. You're 
welcome. The Machete is like your friend who, you know, does their homework and goes to class and everything. And the other three are your friends who are like, let's go get fucked. And the first one was only okay. The second one was delicious. Mm -hmm. The third one was absolutely gank. Seaweed and milk and coconut, disgusting. Yeah. And then the last one was delicious. The last one was delicious. The last one made up for the gank one. Roller coaster. You got this one. Alrighty, bubble tea, uh, caffeine, uh, tapioca. Um, okay, here we go. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and press the bell. We upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you then.